Welcome to Gary Mation. In this video, we're going to look at how we can make the most out of nice big images and how we can draw focus to our text when we put them into these images. What I'm about to show you is a really effective uh, animation that you can use when you're using big colourful images in your, in your presentations or in your videos. So this is a, a picture from One Reading Central, um, one of the kitchen areas, and obviously it's a nice big image, but what I'm going to do is I want to put text over the top of that. But before I do it, what I want to happen, and you'll have seen this technique loads and loads of times, you see it in the news, you see it in all different uh, mediums, you'll see it a lot now that, I've, now that I've brought it to your attention. When the text comes in, the picture goes out of focus at the same time, and it's a really good technique. So how, in order to achieve this, you simply copy the picture that you've got, then Control and V and paste it back over. So now we're just layering them on top of each other so that they're exactly on top. You know that they're on top because it gives you that sort of, well, first of all, it gives you a little bit of resistance, um, but you can also see there's uh, lines at the top and at the bottom to let you know that it's in place and it's exactly over the top. What you then want to do is format the picture. So right click and then choose the bottom option, which is format picture. There we go. You want to choose the, the picture and then choose picture corrections. And what we want to do is where it says sharpness, just drag that all the way to the left and you can see it makes the photograph go out of focus. Now you might wonder why on earth would you want to do that? Well, you'll see when the text comes over the top of it, it actually makes it look really, really good. One other thing that I'm going to do, so let's bring in some text just now so you can see what I'm talking about. So let's grab this first of all, control C, control V, and let's move it into place where we want it. So as you can see, it's quite dark, but if we move it over this window, you can see that it's it's actually nice and vibrant. What I'm going to do is actually change the colour of this text so that it matches in with this green glass section here. I do that by going to the home page, selecting the font colour, and choosing the eyedropper. And when I hover over this colour, let's go for this green here, there we go. What I'm also going to do is add in some shading behind the text. You do that by highlighting your text, right click, format text effects. I'm going to use glow, I'm going to make it all round, I'm going to make it white so that it actually stands out. I'm going to change the size so that you can't really see it terribly well and I'm going to make it pretty transparent. There we are. Now I'm now going to animate this so that it flies in from the left hand side. So we'll fly in from the left. There we go. Where is your focus? And I'm going to put a slight bounce on it and change the, the animation speed. And again, you'll have seen this from previous videos. So I'm just going to fly through this rather than, than tell you how it's done. If you need to remember, putting a bounce on, probably best to make it about 8.8 .8 seconds, uh, or there or thereabouts, doesn't need to be exact. There we go. Now what I want it to do is I want this to appear from behind this glass. So I want the text to appear here. Here's a great technique. Copy and paste the exact same image. Make sure it's in the right place. There we go, make sure it's in the right place. Double click and then crop the image. And what I'm going to take the line from here and move it back so that it's just in line with that glass. And then I'm going to click crop. Now, I'm going to bring this to the front. And now, when I do this animation, you can see that the text actually looks as though it's coming from just behind the glass. Perfect. We now just have to animate the out of focus elements. So all we need to do is make sure they appear at the right time. So if we just click, go to animation. We just want it to fade in. And I'm going to make that fade in at the same time. And also we need the, the pane of glass to, to fade in also. We'll do that just now. Well, let's just delay it slightly so that we can actually see the difference. Just do it after two seconds. There we go. How does that look now? Excellent. Using this type of animation helps you manipulate the viewer. It helps you decide where you want the viewer to be looking. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this short video. 
The next video in the series will be all about making the most of zooming in to icons.